This is our grocer. It's a 40 foot sea can that's been repurposed into a hydroponic garden. Hydroponic growing is um, growing using just water and nutrients and light um, as opposed to growing in dirt like most people are familiar with. We plant the seeds into these small rock wool cubes and af after two weeks of being in the seedling nursery we put them into these growing spots and then at six weeks they're ready to go um, for eating. These are about five weeks old and you can see they've grown um, quite an extensive amount of roots which is all they really need to support themselves and these roots are dangling down in the water solution and gathering nutrients for them so that they can grow their leaves. So how this system works is the water is pumped from the main tank, it comes into each of these trays from the pressure from the pump and then once it's in the growing trays it just flows slowly by gravity. The plant's roots are laying in that nutrient water solution and the plants are being fed that way. So without any dirt, the, the roots don't have to try very hard to get the nutrients. They're, we're giving it directly to them so they don't have to focus as much on root growth. They can um, start growing their leaves and they can put a lot of energy into leaf growing which is why the, the greens grow so quickly and um, that's the part of the plant that we eat so that's what we're really excited about. If you could grow um, in something like this in Churchill, you could probably grow anywhere. We don't have our rail line anymore and if the airplanes don't fly, um, we don't have access to fresh food. So this is a way for communities like ours to grow their own food even in a really harsh environment where you can't do conventional gardening. Here we can grow, we have 1,800 mature plants growing and about 2,000 seedlings growing at a time. Um, we harvest them each week, around uh, anywhere from 200 to 450 pieces of produce every week. Seacan itself is very well insulated. This unit is just heated with one heater. Um, the heat is pumped from the mechanical room through the whole can, and then these fans along the center move the heat around in here to keep it evenly distributed. Mm -hmm. 